From a $500 billion smart city to a $100 billion oil hub to a mosque that can hold 2.5 million people, these are some of the most luxurious upcoming projects in Saudi Arabia. Excited to hear more? Well, let's start off with number 5. Riata Metro Riata Metro is a rapid transit system that is currently under construction. It is part of the Riata Public Transport Project, which comprises a metro network, a bus system, and other transport services in Riata. The project is owned and operated by the prestigious Arita Development Authority. Construction of the Riata Metro project began in April 2014, when tunneling work on Line 1 started in July 2015. Test runs on the metro commenced in August 2018, and it's due to open later this year. In 2012, the population of Riata was 5.7 million and was predicted to increase by many folds by the year 2030. The new metro system would fulfill the demands of the growing population along with efficiently tracking traffic congestion and improving air quality. The cost of the luxury project is estimated to be $22.5 billion. Number 4. Jabal City Project Al Jabal is a planned industrial city located in the eastern Ash Shariaka province of the Saudi Arabian Gulf Coast. It is the largest industrial city ever built and home to the Saudi Basic Industries Corporation, which is the fourth largest petrochemical company. Moreover, Jubal Industrial City features some world-class infrastructure, including one of the largest desalination plants on the planet, an oil refinery, a steel mill, and two huge seaports that support a total annual cargo volume of 52,000 tons. This has catapulted Jubal into being one of the most important ports of Saudi Arabia. Petrochemical products such as fertilizers and plastics and refined oil products like gasoline, kerosene, and diesel make for some of the primary exports from Jubal. Steel is another product that the bustling city manufactures and exports in large quantities. Some other consumer goods manufacturers also add to its glory. By supporting the primary oil and gas-based businesses, before the mid-20th century, Jubal served as a caravan function on the outskirts of an important fishing and pearl village. It gained a measure of fame in September 1933 as the first landing site for a team of American geologists employed by the Standard Oil Company of California, who had arrived in Saudi Arabia with an intention to explore oil reserves. The cost of this massive project is deemed to be $8 billion. Number 3. Al Haram Grand Mosque Expansion The Grand Mosque is the largest and oldest mosque globally and surrounds one of the world's holiest places, the Kaaba. The King Abdullah Haram Expansion Project is the most significant expansion of the Grand Mosque in its long 4,000-year history. At the cost of $22 billion, the new expansion will comprise new prey yards, walkways, tunnels, and the development of existing facilities to increase the capacity of the mosque to more than 2 million people. Now, now, that in itself is a mammoth task. Between 1988 and 2005, the expansion included 18 more gates, 13 domes corresponding in position to each gate, the installation of nearly 500 marble columns, heated floors, air conditioning, escalators, and a drainage system. The third major expansion took place during King Abdullah's reign. In 2008, the king announced that the development would involve expropriating land to the north and northwest of the mosque, covering 300,000 square meters. In 2011, further details about the expansion were announced, covering an area of 400,000 square meters, which would raise the mosque's capacity from 770,000 to more than 2.5 million worshippers after completion. The cost of the expansion is projected to be a whopping $100 billion. Number 2. King Abdullah Economic Center King Abdullah Economic Center is a mega-project announced in 2005 by King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the former king of Saudi Arabia. Along with another five economic cities, the city is part of an ambitious 10x10 program to place Saudi Arabia among the world's top 10 competitive investment destinations by the year 2010. The first stage of the city was completed in 2010, and the whole city is designed to be fully completed soon. The city aims to diversify the nation's oil-based economy by bringing direct foreign and domestic investments. The city also aspires to help create up to 1 million jobs. Upon completion, KEAC is said to be larger than Washington, D.C. It is being built along the four new cities in Saudi Arabia to control sprawl and congest it in existing cities. The port of the city is part of the Maritime Silk Road that runs from the Chinese coast via the Suez Canal to the Mediterranean.
Mediterranean. With its connections to Central and Eastern Europe, the city is divided into six main components, industrial zone, seaport, residential areas, sea resort, educational zone, and a central business district, CBD, which also includes the financial island. The cost of the project is estimated to be $100 billion. Number one, NEOM. NEOM is the declaration of intent of this smart city in the making, which will put Saudi Arabia on the smart city map of the world. The NEOM concept forms part of two words, NEO, the Greek prefix meaning new, joined by the fourth letter, which is the abbreviation of the Arabic word mustaguak ball, meaning future. In other words, the new future. The project is a kind of two-for-one promotion. On the one hand, plans are in place for the NEOM smart city, and on the other, the line, a series of linear cities that will cross the Middle Eastern country. Together with technology, sustainability, and the environment will play a key role. It is a closed joint stock company created with an estimated budget of $500 billion, announced in 2017. This company, which belongs to the Saudi Public Investment Fund, aims to develop an economic hub that will cover an area of 26,500 square kilometers, extending along the Aquaba Gulf and Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coastline. The initial plans presented an AI-powered city with flying cabs and an artificial moon. In January of 2021, this blueprint became became more specific and tangible with Prince Mohammed bin Salman presented the line, a 170-kilometer-long linear urban development of communities connected by an underground public transport network. So which of these projects excites you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Well, that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next one.